Welcome to our channel, Rose Reflection. I'm here with my siblings, Marissa and Angelo. And we're here to talk about our experiences in Keto Day 5 and 6. I know we didn't have a lot of information going on, but we're going to discuss what happened, all of our illnesses, the calm before the storm, discussing that later. Hi, this is Angelo, and welcome to Day 4, Calm Before the Storm. So, this day, we actually woke up pretty late because we ended up coming back from Mindo the day prior. And we were definitely tired and we wanted to take things a little bit easier. So we decided to sleep in slightly and go to this museum afterwards. So we got out there, we ended up hitting the museum at three o'clock. And unfortunately we did not know that the museum closed around five, but the best part about it was that not knowing made us just kind of take a step back and really take our time seeing everything that they had. They had a lot of beautiful jewelry and pottery and different paintings that really drew our interest. And the best part about this museum was that it was free to get into. We decided to donate after we were leaving. And there weren't that many guests actually in this museum. So every picture we went to, we were able to take time and really get a close up look and see why this person decided to make certain color choices or to make the different brush strokes that you see on some of these paintings when you're really taking a close eye view. And it was very nice and very peaceful inside as well. So as you can see, this photo right here reminded us of when we were trying to walk up to see the city view in our first episode. was just like tossing and turning in knots and then we had to take our COVID test the night before we were going to fly out we still haven't gotten our test results so we would set our alarms for certain times to making sure that we received an email saying hey everything's good to go but the only person that received the email was my brother Mario so as we were waiting we were deciding okay what do we want to do do we either show up at the airport hoping that the test results will come in or do we just like wait at the hotel hoping and just waiting my biggest concern was that it had to be within the 24-hour window of when your flight was leaving the only thing was is that there was two flights leaving out of quito one at 1 15 in the morning and the other at 8 30. we couldn't leave ecuador if we didn't show them proof that everything was negative. We can maybe find at the airport that they have a COVID test available. We don't have money to pay for another COVID test because we used it to pay for the first one. Let's just get to the airport. And once we were literally there at the airport. We get to this massive area, right? The airport's really nice. Wi-Fi came back on. That miracle ding that I didn't expect to come through was that message from the facility saying that my test was negative and my sister's test was negative. Like, let's go home. Thank goodness that happened. And we were able to quickly go on the flight. Okay. All right, I will. Love you. All right. So Marissa, do you want to talk about our trip fiasco? And that concludes our series to Ecuador. Thank you for joining my siblings and I on Roads to Reflection. Please be on the lookout for our new videos coming this January.